What is a heat engine? A heat engine is a device that takes a working fluid or a fluid from a higher state, a higher thermal state to a lower thermal state. It cools it off. It starts with a hot fluid. It takes, it, it cools it down and in the process takes work out of it. It uses that thermal difference to produce work. How do combustion engines, internal internal combustion engines, do this? They convert, internal combustion engines convert the energy from fuel into work. The way they do it is they mix the fuel with the air to a determined, predetermined mixture. You burn it. And in burning that fuel, you are heating up the air that's inside of the combustion chamber. When you heat up that air, it expands, its pressure increases, and now you have that hot pressurized fluid, the air and, and fuel and the combustion mixture in there, that is now hot due to the combustion. That's what it does to work. That hot air expands and pushes on a piston converting that thermal energy into mechanical energy rotating the engine and in turn the propeller the exhaust gases once they leave out they are cooler than they were in the combustion chamber the difference in temperature is the work that gets outputted through the engine's drive shaft or propeller depending on what the engine is hooked up to a transmission or a male or a conveyor belt or whatever the output of the work is the difference between the temperature in the combustion chamber and the cooler temperature in the exhaust minus heat losses through the cooling fans or cooling system in in a in a jet engine for example that is also an internal combustion engine because the combustion happens internally inside the engine the compressor is compressing the air and then you inject the fuel you ignite it and when you burn that fuel you're producing heat you're expanding that air and once you end up with that hot fluid that is when you that is what you use to drive it through the turbines and the work that the fluid does is not pushing a piston it's spinning the turbines some of it gets output it out the back as as um, thrust, and some of that work gets transmitted through a shaft to the compressor or to the fan, and to drill, uh, drive accessories and generators and all those things. But the work is done by the hot, just like in a piston engine, the work that gets done by the hot fluid, by pushing the piston. In a turbine engine, the work is done by that fluid spinning a turbine in um, another heat engine is the external uh, combustion engine and that would be steam engines if you think of steam locomotives the combustion happens outside of the pistons the combustion happens in the boiler in the, in the, in the fire in the, not in the boiler in the, in the firebox that's where you're burning the coal the wood and whatever your fuel is that heat is driven through the boiler to heat up water to make steam and then steam is now your hot working fluid that steam is the one that's expanding that steam is the one you take down to the pistons near the wheels that steam is what does the work at the pistons that's another example of a heat engine and another little um another little heat engine is just little sterling engines Sterling engines are the models that you can you can buy as kits. Then you so you've seen pictures in catalogs. You put it on the top of your hand, and just the heat of your, from your hand is enough to drive a little, spin a wheel or spin something, make it do something. You get very little work out of it because you're inputting very little heat. But that's another heat engine. There you go. So.
the, the, the reason I'm making this video is because I've read and heard and seen too many, too many comments about how airplanes uh, fly on or run on compressed air. That's not the case. That's 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 ignorance. That's lack of information. That's not understanding the mechanics of the engines and where the energy is coming from, which is the fuel. Um, the reason for compressing the air, be it in piston engines or in jet engines and turbine engines, the reason for compressing the air before combustion is because the higher the pressure, the higher initial pressure in the combustion, the more efficient that combustion is. The more, the, the higher the output of that combustion is. If you burn some fuel like a candle in at atmospheric pressure, open open case, you get very little output. You get heat, but very little output for the amount of fuel that's going in. On the other hand, if you compress that air and fuel mixture, the output of the combustion is a lot higher for the same amount of fuel that you put in. That's the reason for compressing the, um, the air and fuel mixture. So airplane engines and car engines or any type of engine, they don't run on compressed air. Uh, they compress the air, but what keeps them, what makes them run, where the energy is coming from, to be able to move cars and move airplanes, uh, the, that energy is coming from fuel. That fuel is used to burn the fuel to create heat, to then make that hot fluid, that hot air, do work. And that work is going to be in the pushing a piston, spinning a turbine. Uh, moving a steam train, whatever the output is, that output, the original energy is coming from the fuel, which gets burnt to heat up the air, and now that hot air is the one doing the work. Um, this uh, Sorry for the shaky video, and I'm just walking around. I just wanted to take a minute in the shop over here to put in my two cents into all these erroneous comments and I don't think they're malicious I think they're the result of ignorance lack of knowledge misinformation I wanted to add a little bit of truth or maybe a little bit of clarity into the subject um, and it's simple enough it should be simple enough easy to understand I hope it helps someone out there um, I hope you like it. I'm looking forward to the comments. Alright, see you guys.